structural there, to be honest. Christopher, yeah. So I've come off Centennial on the TT bike. Man. Dad fell off his bicycle, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. You got one on your arm too. I got one on my arm too. Does my face look funny? Yeah. yeah. Once you die. <laughs> it's bound to happen, wasn't it? This is what happens. Oh, thank you for coming in. Uh, uh, so it's about. Oh, my watch is scratched. Um, it's about three hours since the crash. I've just been uh, dispatched. No, not dispatched. What's the word? Discharged. Discharged from the hospital. X rays are all clear. It's all. We look like gravel, just a lot of skin off as you saw. <sighs> we'll get home, we'll talk about it. Big thanks to Jesse, uh, obviously Liz and the kids for coming in, but also to Dan Corbett, who came in to see me. And <laughs> I was gonna introduce Dan to you, KOM Financial Insurance. Talking about this guy. Hi. This is the lengths I go to for sponsors to introduce you to, <laughs> to the vlog community. He deals with income protection for cyclists. No shit, seriously. So we've had a bit of an update. Day two. And things have progressed a little bit uh, off the charts. Hospital. Seemingly, um, I'm really lucky. Helmets, guys. I smashed my helmet. I smashed my head yesterday. And now I've got a little bit of mild concussion, which I'll talk to you about when I get home, but hopefully today. Brace on me today, and one of those collars, you know. And the kids came in, and Elizabeth's there, and I'm there with a neck brace on. Like, yeah, that's going to be something to think about going forward. I think. I think you got to have these every now and again. So lucky. Big wounds, concussion, no neck issues. Man, we've got a lot to talk about. I've got to thank this person massively, but RPA was just on point here. We just had the best experience here, so. second time to quickly talk about the incident itself because it's kind of really fresh in my mind obviously it happened at Centennial Park um, and this is where I'm gonna be quite vague because the reality is Centennial Park is just like it is such an important place for cycling in Sydney that I don't want to jeopardize anything by by that by, by making this out to be anything more than it isn't and what it is is an accident it's an accident that was pretty much half my fault and half the motorists fault and that's kind of what happens. I will say this, it happened at the Ramwick Gates. Um, anyone who's ridden around in Sydney will know that that can be a little bit of a black spot and that as cyclists, we really hedge our bets a bit every time we go down there. Guys, honestly, I am so lucky. I am so, so lucky. I have no idea which part of me here has taken the impact because I should have broken something, basically. Uh, if not broken something, I should have 
had far more serious internal injuries or something than I did. I expected ribs, I expected a collarbone when I was sort of on the ground and none of that was actually the reality. What has happened is I've kind of just got some really, really deep wounds all on my right hand side, worst of which are right on the kneecap. The reason I had to go back into hospital today was I passed out in the bathroom. Now, that probably happened for a number of different reasons. Um, the main one was, was probably pain because I was really rubbing at the wound to try and clean it out. But as it turned out, um, I fainted um, and had a bit of a fit. And so well, this is called the paramedics and back in I went. They did another CT scan, all clear, but they're, they're pretty sure that I have some form of, of concussion. I'm going to continue this conversation tomorrow morning. Um, I, I've done a whole, <laughs> I've done a whole vlog really, and it was, kind of, it was going to be a rant about the timing of nationals, specifically the timing of nationals. So I'll save that rant because that stands. The timing's a real issue now, but we'll be looking forward. I'm not going to be looking back. Go from there. Take two, take three. I think I filled you in what happened yesterday. Moving on, and as I was saying yesterday, I wanna move on and move forward. So the other kind of aspect to all this was how this affects neuro, and it does affect neuro. And, and I suppose from our perspective, we've really just really discovered that, haven't we? Um, you know, we've let a few customers down um, with orders, um, with the release of the chairman, you know, stuff was getting pretty busy and then this happens. So we will do all that from my couch because that is where we are to be for at least two or three days. This is where I would normally get up and like walk away from the camera. <laughs> and like, yeah. Okay, now hang on, let me sign off. Okay, onwards with the day then. <laughs> Like I mentioned this morning, uh, Dan's going to come around and we're going to talk about uh, national. Uh, I've just been, so what, just after midday, day three, I'm still feeling really quite foggy in the head and I don't want to risk what's, what's left of any brain cells. Concussion, we have to see how it reacts to riding, to physical activity. Some concussions get significantly worse with physical activity. Some concussions don't change much at all. Yeah. Um, if it's one that gets worse with physical activity, we want to avoid doing too much physical activity. If it's one that doesn't change much with physical activity, then you're probably okay to do some physical activity. And in two weeks, Depending on the level of concussion, which I don't think it was too extreme, um, it'll be feeling okay. In terms of getting back on a bike, just like really light exercise. I'm gonna leave <laughs> It's not our kids making noise. As soon as your body feels even a little bit okay to get back on the bike, get back on the bike because Gentle exercise is good for just general aches and pains. It can help to clear some of the swelling as long as you're not in acute inflammation phase. And it'll just generally make you feel better to get that blood flowing. It's good for concussion too. Just nothing too hard straight away. Don't want to be sweating because, or don't want to be sweating too much because sweating can increase the risk of infection. More importantly, I don't want to kind of feel how this feels because I still feel foggy. He did a really cool little test with me earlier like this sort of, was it SCAT test or SCAT something? SCAT test, sport concussion assessment tool, tool or test, could be either. Yeah, um, and we kind of went through that and I kind of was okay on the hard line things and sort of not too good on the sort of soft stuff, like how are you feeling generally, Chris? Those sort of things. So, I'll just keep an eye on that. Luckily there was no spelling tests in it. Yeah, no spelling tests. <laughs> And finally, because we might not get much more of a chance to talk about this with this guy, he's doing nationals as well. Paracycling nationals, which I think it's the first time it's been on at the same time as the elite nationals, which is really good for exposure. Pretty and what day is that? Thursday, Friday, Thursday time trial, Friday road race. Um, and finally, 
new shirts. Yeah. Probably not best to be sold to cyclists. Showing off their guns. <laughs> Pathetic. Wait till you see the Miller family photo from Christmas tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be like Nero